close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And watch the breathing. Know the breath when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out, try to stay right here. We're trying to train the mind, to train the mind to stay in one place. So if any thoughts come in, you just let them go. Stay right here with the breathing. Make the breath comfortable. Ask yourself, is it too long or too short? You can adjust it. Too heavy, too light, too fast, too slow. If it's not just right, just try to make it just right. Allow it to be just right. It gives the mind a sense of well-being here in the present moment. This is food for the mind. This is one of the reasons why we make merit and why they say that meditating is one of the highest of the meritorious activities. Because what is merit? Merit is a kind of happiness. It's a way of feeding the mind. Because the mind wants happiness. It feeds off happiness, feeds off pleasure. And you'll get a, you want to give it a pleasure that doesn't cause any harm to yourself, doesn't cause any harm to anybody else. So you have to look very carefully, because there are a lot of pleasures in the world that may seem okay, but if, if you indulge in them for a while, you begin to realize how oh, they have their drawbacks. But here, when you practice generosity, when you observe the precepts, when you meditate, this doesn't harm anyone at all. In fact, it spreads the happiness around. Which makes sense that it's a safe happiness. If, you, if you're the only one who's got some happiness and you're taking things away from other people, they're not going to stand for it. That, that kind of happiness isn't safe. The safe happiness is when you're generous. You gain the quality of generosity, your mind becomes a much broader and more comfortable mind. At the same time, other people benefit from your generosity. The same with the precepts. You're not harming anybody else and you develop the qualities of patience and endurance, compassion. And when you meditate, okay, you're getting rid of the defilements in your mind. That means they're not going to come out in your words and deeds. In other words, other people are not going to become victims of your greed, aversion, and delusion. So these ways of finding happiness are totally safe, because they spread the happiness around. So try to feed your mind in this way. Sitting here meditating, you're not harming anybody else. The mind is developing qualities of mindfulness and clarity, alertness. These are all good things good ways of nourishing the mind. So try to make sure that you nourish the mind like this every day. And we, after all, we can brush our teeth every day. Why can't we look after our minds every day? Our minds are much imp more important than the teeth. If something happens to your teeth, you can get implants, you can get false teeth. But if something really bad happens to the mind, in other words, you start developing bad qualities inside, Okay, there's no implant that they can give you that make up for the lack. So make sure you train the mind, look after the mind like this. When you're mindful and alert, okay, the mind's going to stay in line with what you know is the right way to find happiness, what you know is the harmless way to find happiness. And that way you become your own protection, your own refuge, because you've got your own source of food right here, and it's safe. And it really is nourishing. It's not like the food of sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations that we normally run after, because that even though it has, they have their flavors, they don't have much nourishment. But this kind of food is really nourishing for the mind. So keep trying to feed it this way all the time. 